Okay, we're now ready to start to mix and apply the Paystone Priming Slurry. Before I start, a couple of health and safety pointers. A dust mask, a pair of gloves, and some safety glasses. So to do the mixing, we would recommend use of an electric drill. Most people have one in the garage or in the shed with a paddle for mixing on the end. If you're using a small amount of the powder, a cordless drill will work fine. Likewise, a larger amount of powder, you might want to consider hiring or buying a professional paddle mixer. Next job, take the powder out of the tub. So to mix this bag, we're gonna need four liters of clean water, and it must be clean water, into the tub so we're ready to mix. Okay, the priming slurry is now mixed. And it's all ready to be applied to the back of the slab. So here we go. So get a good amount of product on the brush. And an essential part of applying this is to make sure that we go right to the edge. So it's no good leaving the edge. That's the wrong way to apply this product. You need to get right to the edge. Okay, so paint it on, nice consistency. The other thing to bear in mind is, as I've said before, this is a glue. It's a very strong adhesive. It will stick. Best to keep a bucket of clean water and a sponge on one side, because if you get it on the face, you need to wipe it off. As you can see, I'm going right to the edge. Top tip, I've got two bits of timber there. It keeps the paving off of the ground. That allows me to come straight across the bottom. I'm not applying the primer onto the ground and picking all the dirt up. One last dip, straight up the edge. No clear bits of paving showing. Okay, paving slab fully primed. This one's over to the lads for them to lay it. For more installation hints and tips, visit the website pavestone.co.uk.